Hi guys, so this video was intended to be kind of quick to let you guys know that the singer my Sona is back up and working. Um, I will say I already went ahead and downloaded everything and I'll show you that right now, but um, it's still a little tricky to use. I'm happy that I can manipulate designs, that's great, and we'll show you that in just a moment. Um, it is a quick font maker. I don't know how to pull those fonts in. I want to say that that's probably with one of the better memberships because right now I'm just using the free program that they give you. So if you want to pay for a membership, we'll look at that in a moment. Um, you can do that and then you have more access to different things. Uh, but, it's, you know, I'm not going to do that right now. So I think you can create the fonts. It's just not a way to pull them into this. So I'm still going to use Brilliance to play with my um, lettering and stuff, but that's just me for now until I figure out more or if that is just a paid for option which is kind of a bummer but um, I do show you how to make a font so that's nice but uh, again I don't see how you can actually use it so you're gonna see how I create how I did this how I got into this in just a moment so we can play in here so um, you know I'll link my machine this I've been using the singer legacy SC 300 as you know I'm making all these tutorials and so what I'm gonna do right now is show you how I downloaded the program step by step and all that kind of good stuff and I'm not going to use the machine today I just want to show you this and kind of get familiar with it just kind of look around um, I will link my machine in the description box that will be an affiliate link which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items to those links so if you like to use that that's great um, you know I'm assuming you already have the machine and you're just kind of checking some things out too so we can walk through this together but this is not anything difficult you just go to you know singers a website to my sonet and download what you need so anyway uh, let's hop to that and I'm sorry that I, at the end I don't show you how to use the font I don't think it's possible with this free um, thing if that changes I will definitely let you know <laughs> I just don't see it right now so you know how that goes all right guys let's hop to it okay guys so it looks like maybe this is working now it still says under construction so I don't know if there's some other issues but I went to singer.com and I'll go back um, before it was saying that the whole site was under construction, right? So now it's looking like it's okay. They have some deals. <laughs> so if you click on my Sonet, um, visit my Sonet. Uh, I saw this before, but it wasn't doing anything. So let's see if we can do this. I'm on a Mac, but same thing that if you're on a computer, you're just going to say download now. The problem was you couldn't create a new account. So let's see how it's doing. Um, they're talking about the app because, yeah, whatever. But if you keep scrolling down, even if you were, say, on a regular computer, you're going to see the same thing. And you have to say subscribe now. I don't have a code. That would be nice because I think you need the code for, like, the ones that you purchase. But um, for the basic thing that should be free so you can manipulate designs and go into your embroidery machine, um, I'm going to click subscribe now. And over here, ask if you want to, if you have an a, a code, which I don't. It'd be nice. Um, it does say my Sonnet software comes as a part of my Sonnet subscription, or you can purchase your own copy to keep, which is interesting. I was wondering about that because they have monthly plans, but I guess if you just want to buy it straight out, you can do that. And I'm sure it's not inexpensive, but who knows? I'm not going to click on that right now. I'm just going to do the basic thing, and it says it's for you know people just starting. Um, with uh, embroidery and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see. Download free software, right? Basics. We're going to click that. Um, they do have some for your crafting, which I don't hardly ever use my Cricut for anything. This might be, I don't even know what they're referring to there. So I'm just going to say download software, the embroidery software. It does have some other options. So for Windows, right? You're going to go download and update software, um, or whatever you need to do here. For Mac is what I'm going to do. It does say download extended background sets. And I don't know what that means. But I'll do that after I do this part. Because I'm assuming I need to get at least this. So let's download it. You want to download? Yes. It's up in this corner. I know you can't see because it it's out of the frame. But if you're, you know, whatever your computer does to download, that's where it's going. It is taking a little while. It's barely moving. So I'm going to come back and see what happens next. And hopefully... Hopefully we can make a new account because that's what I need to do. So this is taking a while. I have really fast internet like whenever I do those HSN lives or any, you know, it's important to have really good internet. And um, 
if I click up here, I don't know if you can see it. It is just inching along. I don't know what that's about, but you know, possibly something's going on with my internet. I don't think so. <laughs> but uh, my speeds are usually pretty fast. So anyway, I don't know. Either way, it's telling me it's going to be about an hour. So I guess I'll be back a long time from now. That seems weird, but what are you going to do? Okay. Okay, guys, you know, I always have to check back. Now, I don't know if this is taking forever. It's not my internet. Like I said, I've been downloading things, you know, embroidery files. It takes two seconds, right, <laughs> recently. Um, and I actually had my internet guy out last week from Cox because of my, um, there was some kind of issue. Anyway, and they rewired everything, and so things work even better now. So there's no reason for this. So I called my son. He's just upstairs, and he uh, obviously knows about computers he's you know 20 some odd year olds and he's like um what website are you on i'm like i don't know singer and this and he's like it could be the host because sometimes people don't want to invest in like a better program to help people upload or download whatever you're doing right uh downloading software he's also it might be that they just don't have a very good program for that and i'm like that would make sense because honestly i've downloaded things all day yesterday even you know free design everything has been downloading really fast this is taking forever Again, it might have to do with them being under construction. So it might be that I'm going to wait for this and it might not even work. So we will see. Hopefully it's working. I would like to use this because it does look like maybe you can manipulate some designs in here, which would be great because that's what I want to do. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I'll let it keep going. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Okay, guys, I guess it's done. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to open that up. It's going to probably ask me, like, if it's okay. Everything you have to do to walk through. Okay. We're going for it. <laughs> so, again, just like on your computer, whatever it's asking you to do, I'm going to go through all these things. It might be that when I have to um, log in, it might cause a problem. So hopefully not. So we'll see. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to do all this, and I'll be back. It looks like all is going well. It's been saying this for a minute, but it does say my Sonic Connect will open automatically when you log in. You can manage this login uh, in login item settings. So hopefully I don't have to create an account. I feel like this is just downloading something, but maybe you will. We'll see. We're getting very close. I guess I'll come back. So to be honest, it probably did take an hour. I went and did other things. I wasn't just sitting here waiting for it. Um, it is taking a long time on this, less than a minute, to it's still doing it. If you're on Mac, if you're on Windows, you're going to do the same thing. Um, this is very cool. It's kind of interesting that Singer told me, like I said, when I contact them about my Futura, they don't have Mac software for the Futura, but they have this. And for me, it's going to look like an app, so that's what it looks like in a Mac, so I guess that's what we're looking for. But uh, I'm going to let it keep going. Okay, guys, it says the installation was successful, and hopefully I don't... <laughs> Um, I always just move to trash that thing and on a Mac you basically have to open your apps and that's where we would go so I'm gonna do that and double click I don't know if I should download this right here download extended background sets Dan go yeah download sample files for exercises okay fine I'll download both of these things <laughs> all right uh, those are moving faster though I will say as you can see so that's good it's not anything too big All right, that is so weird. This one's actually bigger than this one. Look how fast it went. Okay, all right. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and see what this looks like. I did download these optional things. You saw what it looked like for the Windows side. Actually, I can click on that. You do your download and extended background set, sample files for exercise, so those things are there. Download USB driver for direct cable machines, which like the Futura works that way. I don't know that it has a USB that you can import. Um, so that's a different type of machine. So anyway, and this program is not just for this uh, machine, right? This sewing machine. So um, let's check this out. So if I go to Finder, um, I go to Applications because that's how it is on a Mac. I know with my Futura, it just put a little icon, just like any software program. You have Microsoft Word or Excel or whatever. It just has an icon. So even if it's your, if you're using a PC, you'll see this new icon and you'll double click so this is basically you know 
it looks like tools it looks like whatever this one is so I guess we're gonna open them all because there's a lot of things you saw that one that one there's all these different things this is where we're going to do this to make an account register if you do not have a my Sona account and I do not have one so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and hopefully this is the part where it was not okay all right hold on uh, sign up all right, I'm gonna try and do this. If I get stuck, I will let you know, but obviously I'm gonna put in my information. So I will do all this and say sign up, okay? I'll okay. be right back. So I just went ahead and created an account. It was super easy. That's what you saw there. We just asked you for your email, your name, and then a password. That's all it is. And then what country you're in. So, um, and it brought me back here. So I am gonna go back to this thing and go ahead and type that information in and I'll be right back. Okay guys, and after you type in, you know, after you make your account, then you come back over here and you have to sign in. It says not activate, you have to click activate, so I'm going to do that. And you have reached the limit of activating computers. Please deactivate another before continuing. I don't even have a computer. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have no idea what to tell you. That's all I have. You have reached the limit of activated computers. Please deactivate another before continuing. I don't know what that means. I'm just going to say okay and just leave it at that. I have no idea why it's telling me that. Sorry guys. Uh, may not be able to use this still. Okay. Uh, let me show you uh, something else. Okay, I'll be right back. So I'm just messing around with this thing and you know what it said was for my paid for subscriptions. I don't have any paid for subscriptions so maybe that's why it says activate and told me no. So that's fine. We're not going to do that. I don't even know what that is about. Um, you have start my so net so net connect you have check for updates um, and their utilities your check complete no update available because um, we just put this on here so that's good okay this seems to be just tools right stuff I don't care about how it looks uh, background color import I, I, I don't care about any of these things so I'm just gonna click off of that <laughs> let's go back to um, the finder and my so net connect maybe that's something that we care about let's open that up there's a cross stitcher, there's digitizing, there's paint, there's, um, this is the one that we're actually going to want to use, this My Sona Embroidery. Um, I think this has to do if you want to just connect it right to your um, machine because it's not doing anything. And um, it's possible that it has to be plugged in for that. Uh, My Sona Quick Font and Stitch Editor. So I don't care about any of these things. Cross Stitch, I never, oh, and then My Sona Thread Cache. It added a lot of things. So if you have a personal computer or a PC laptop that's not Mac, um, you're probably just gonna have the one icon and when you click on it all these other things are probably gonna be within that um, Mac is a little bit different so I'm gonna do embroidery because that's the one we care about really more than anything you are not subscribed to my Sonnet service many features will be unavailable and that's the thing right so there's a basic one so even these things I might not be able to use that quick font it's just there but if I pay for it then I have those options right so I'm not gonna pay for anything right now I'm just gonna continue and uh, we're probably going to have to log in, but let's see. New project, blank project, start a new project with no content. Okay. It didn't tell me to log in yet, so we will see. Software help, my account, next. Okay, this is what I wanted to see. So I will tell you that supposedly they have an app. It wouldn't let me use the app the other day when I downloaded it on my phone. So maybe now that this is up and running, maybe the app is up and running too. Um, supposedly you can just use your camera to show kind of where you're at and then you know place your other um let's say files like they say you want to bring in an image and you can just use the phone on your camera to show where you want it to stitch you know and then it'll stitch there which is very interesting uh large hoop whatever hoop i don't know let's go back down to the little guy just because why not um it says natural or rotated i guess natural probably yeah it puts it back to how it actually is i don't even know what that means or you can enter a hoop size here brand universal i mean it's basically singer but you don't have to do that so there when you do that i guess they're giving you look at singer quantum xl 6000 that's not what we're looking for we want the sc 300 small hoop endless hoop which we do not have we have the small one and the large one right so anyway small hoop there's the picture of it that looks great actually that's fine included in my hoops I don't know what that means but that's okay let's just say okay and 
Uh, let me reset this so you can see the top part of my screen. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is just click on this and I'm going to go ahead and expand it so we can see everything. That looks really cool. The very bottom part is outside the screen. Sorry guys, that's just how it is. Uh, I wish I had known that it was going to be this full. Actually, let me try to shrink it just a little bit for you guys. So let's make it bigger, but in a way that you guys can see the whole thing. There we go. Okay. Um, very interesting. I don't know what to bring in here because I don't really, well, I guess I have some fonts and things on my, um, in here. So let's look at this thing. I have never done this. Design, okay, information, color select, notes and settings. You have your hoop. What is this? Uh, background assistant, choose the background. Oh, that's interesting. A garment. Maybe the background is just a quilt block or it's fabric. I don't know. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> uh, 3D mode, that's how you're going to see it. So if you want the stitches to look like nice and 3D like, that's pretty cool. Um, let's bring something in, right? Um, I don't know if that's insert. Okay. Um, let me go desktop and all the recordings I've been making for you guys. Uh, embroidery files. Let's just open that up. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Peekers sounds funny, I know, but it's basically a little um, thing that you're supposed to put on a, what's it called, um, towel. It looks like it's peeking over, and I don't know, let's just say this one. I think that should work. See, that says dot .xxx. It does say four. I don't know why, so let me just open this. I don't know what we're looking at. There it is. How cute. So this is the design for a four-inch hoop, uh, or supposedly. It's showing you all the colors over here, guys. That's really nice. Um, I'm assuming this fits. Again, that download had different sizes of peekers, so this is the four-inch one. I can resize in here. This is not something you can do on, and now you saw how it got all warped and weird. We don't want that, of course, and I'm sure, I'm assuming you can reset it back to where it was. Um, there should be an undo, generally. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to learn this. I just wanted to show you guys that it's downloadable now and all that, and I don't know what else um, I can show you right now. What's this? Uh, modify design, uh, 100, 100. Uh, let's go back to 100, because I think that's where I stretched it. Right, and I'm sure there's a way to just reset that, but um, there you go. So that's how it was initially. Um, you can rotate the design if you need to in here. I am super excited about this. Let's see this. Okay, we can center it. Uh, if we messed around with it, I don't know what this is. Okay, um, I'm like, I don't know what this is. Source, preview, oh, okay. So um, this just might be the way you're looking at it. I'm just gonna cancel that, I don't care about that. Um, let's put it back to where she was. There's generally uh, somewhere you can hit that just resets it, which I'm sure it's here somewhere, but, uh, you know. Um, okay, well, this is nice. Let me see. Are there ways to mix designs? That's what I would want to know. So let's just mess around with this a little bit. And obviously it's kind of big. Um, also, when you alter an image and you're shrinking it and doing other things, it might freak out when you actually go to sew this, but I don't know that right now, so I'm not going to uh, keep it that. Let's insert something else and see what we can do. Um, you think I would know how to use this? Okay, let's go up. <laughs> let's go back to embroidery files. And I have some word art in here, some wine word art. <laughs> sure, so... Um, I, I don't care. I'm just going to pick one. Again, a four inch one. See how it says four. Here's another one. I'm just going to open that. I'm just trying to see if you can mix things together in this thing. Okay, there it is. And then we can, again, shrink it, make it smaller and stuff. Where was that? Uh, wait, modify design. Let's do 50%. Let's make it a little bit smaller. I'm just typing in five zero and saying return or okay. It should do it for both things. That was weird. Do you see how it's locked? Um... This, oh, okay, it's not it's not locked. <laughs> okay, so let's just do 50 again. Uh, if you want them both to move, you want this key to be locked. Meaning, if I change this number, the other one should change too automatically to make it right. So let's say 50 on this one. Oopsie. And the other one's going to be 100, which is weird. I don't know if that's what I like, but that's okay. Um, da -da -da. Yeah, let's just let's say 50-50 on both of them. Yeah, so that's a little bit smaller. 
Oop, I just changed the center point. Do you see that? I dragged this somewhere else. But that's okay. Um, so it looks like, I mean, if I'm seeing, if my eyes are not deceiving me, it looks like we can play on this pretty well. Okay. And let's say dinner is poured. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay. Let's say dinner is poured. And then, you know, you can use all these things. It's just like any other program. I'm sure there's a way to highlight these things and center them and all that kind of stuff, right? All these little things over here. What do we have? some little loop. This is probably something to grab something with. I haven't tried, but yeah, it's just a way of setting points, grabbing stuff. Maybe you're recentering it. I don't know. So I don't know enough about this program, but I did want to show you that we can, it looks like we can do this. Now, if I had this, what you're going to do is save it, right? Um, so if I was to save it, I don't really care about this design, but let's say fairy wine. I don't know. I'm just giving it a name. Uh, where do you want to save it to your designs? Um, I don't have my what's the thing called my USB in here right now so let's just say to my designs because it'll be something that's saved as far as the program and yeah so let's just get off of there oopsie sorry guys I thought I was shrinking it so save it um, in my designs I guess that's fine so save now I don't know if that means it's saved as a .xxx if this is just a file I mean whatever so for right now Again, we're just getting familiar with this. My Sonnet options, manage my account. Again, I didn't really buy an account, but I guess you can log in here. So I'm gonna get off of this, cause the other thing- Oh, else. sorry guys, I was just trying to say I wanted to get out of that, but um, I went to open it back up and look, there's a project here. This is basically the one we just saved, I assume. Let me see, let's say next. And so there it is, okay. Um, all right, so let's go back to this here and we're gonna pick something else. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna close out of this and close some other uh, windows. Okay. I'll be back. So that was very interesting. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. I was curious about this quick font thing because if this is what I think it is and we can use it, we'll see. Um, I would love to be able to bring my fonts in here and write with it. So we'll see. Look at this a font, Helvetica. Oh, these are all the fonts that you basically have on your laptop, right? Let's do marker felt, uh, tape face thin. I would like wide. You always, for me, an embroidering wide because I always want it to be nice and big. For using in my Sonet software, for using on my embroidery machine. Hmm, that is interesting. See, this is the problem right here. See down here, it says Husqvarna Viking and Faf. We might not have this option for the Singer. But um, let me click on this. See, okay, that would be there. And that's not what we want. So let's go for using my Sonet software. And let's say continue. I have no idea, like, how this works or what to do here. Uh, satin, I love satin. Tatami's another nice one for, like, when you want something really filled in. This is so interesting. Applique. Let me see. Applique is going to, it should, do the stitch on the outside and not in the inside here. Your stitch options. Standard applique, pre-cut piece. Oh, I love standard applique because that means you're just gonna, it's gonna give you a line, you're gonna cut away, and then you're gonna do your thing. Pre-placed piece or cut out. I don't want to do any of these. I think standard is good. <laughs> so it says a running stitch outline is stitched first that shows where the applique layer should be placed. Then the machine stops automatically. You position your applique layer. Yes, we love all that, all of that. How much margin do you want? Uh, one millimeter, match placement line, that's, uh, you know, 1.1, whatever we're doing let's just say okay I don't know I just messed with it just to it should have a little thicker line it was slightly thicker right now right so maybe you want to go thicker this is something we're gonna have to play with and see what we like uh, border stitch options oh here's our width two millimeter density is five you want it a little more dense you want it a little thicker that's where we want to mess around with that you can do an underlay or not do an underlay all these different things start point end point you know I'm not gonna mess with this but uh, let's say okay and again, just a little thicker. This is very nice. Okay, let's say, um, and it doesn't have to be applique. That's the other thing. I mean, it can be satin, right? Just filled in. And then you're gonna mess around with all those things. That's awesome. Okay, hold on. So let's continue. If this lets me write, I'll be very happy. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna let me. Font name, marker, uh, font, category says my font save to USB stick or folder okay so this is the problem hold on let's say next okay that's cool 
how do I actually use this, like write with it? So save to USB stick or folder, save it in my fonts. Okay, cool. Uh, print color, I don't know what that is. Return to start when I click done, that's fine. Uh, it's going to save it on my fonts. If you want to save to your USB stick or folder, I guess that's something else. I don't know. It's not really letting me do it right now. So I'm going to say done. And basically, I just made myself a font or an alpha that I can use. Now, when can I use it? Because it didn't let me use it here, <laughs> right? I thought I was going to be able to type in here. But let's see. Okay, well, all right. Well, okay, we have that. Let's go back. I wanted to see if I can use my own fonts, the one that I bought. I don't see them on here, but I don't really know the names of any of my fonts, to be honest. The ones that I purchased. So this looks like just the fonts that are on your computer. So, okay. Um, okay, let's say quit. I'm going to go back in here and see, does that mean we can use it now? Let's go. Let's see. Um, new project. Let's say next. Small hoop, whatever. Okay, sure. Let's see. I'm curious. I don't really know what to do to, have to work this, so let's insert. Uh, I'm going to have to find out about this, guys, because I don't know where I can do this. I'm like, I was thinking maybe I can just type, but double click. No. Nope. My sonnet. Eh, it might be in there, but I don't see it. Resize, hoop, background, view mode, panels, design. Hmm. I have a little pencil that's, let's see, nope. <laughs> I was like, maybe my pencil lets me do stuff, but that's just for notes. We're going to have to find this out. I don't know this part, so I'm going to have to see some other videos. But that's very interesting that you can play with fonts over there. There's got to be some way to bring it in, and I'm just not seeing it. So let me just get out of this. Um, what else? Digitizing. I don't know anything about digitizing, so I'm not going to be much help for that. I'm sorry, guys. Stitch editor. I mean, there's just all these things that I know I probably won't get into. For me, it's this. And if I can use the font more or figure that out, I will use that. Okay. I hope that gave you a little intro. <laughs> kind of downloading, messing around. I definitely am going to have to spend some time over here. Um, you know, see how to play with this. Um, it's really, really interesting. I really like the look of it. Um, again, you save your, you know, your little um, projects, and then you would have it. You put it onto your USB, right? After you're saving it, you're ready to use it, and put it into your uh, embroidery machine. So, this was a quick video. I'm gonna try and do something for you guys um, to go ahead and actually use it in the sewing machine. Uh, I just do not have the time at the moment, but I did want to show you guys how to use this and or get it downloaded maybe not how to use it I still have to learn myself um, but yeah alright guys let me know how it goes for you and you know what all you're figuring out all the kind of fun you're gonna be having and I will see you all at the next one okay bye now <laughs>